This is William DeMille. I have spent my lifetime being a farmer, in a profession that values the natural world, and what it can produce for humanity. I created this channel to share with you how raising food enriches the human experience. I do this by focusing on the little things, the quiet moments, the solitary vistas, the dusty trails, the hard times, the good times, and the real times. Including the lows of heartache and the highs of shared laughter. Join me today as we cultivate something beautiful. All right, Jared, thanks for coming in here today. Good place to hang out in January. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here we are in our shirt sleeves when it's, it's a nice day outside. But. Yeah, it is a nice day. It's beautiful and sunny, but there is snow and ice everywhere. Yeah. So it's nice to be in here. Well, you had a vision for uh, a YouTube channel. Yes, I did. So I certainly do. Maybe let's talk a little bit about what that is, what that looks like, why we're going to do this. Okay. So I've been here for half a year, and it's just incredible here in Nevada. It's beautiful. we got the snow-capped peaks. We have running water coming down with wild fish in them. We have the beautiful green fields, thousands of acres of grass growing here. We've got cattle. There's other livestock too, people have. Um, the ranchers here. I've seen chickens and pigs and sheep, goats. But I've loved it here and it's so beautiful. I just wanted to share it. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could share this with people? Mm -hmm. If people could see what we're doing. If people could come here and enjoy this the way I've been able to enjoy it. It's been a real blessing for me and my family. So I think it'd be awesome to share this with people. And in the uh, day and age we live in, we can. Yeah. So I'm just going to start making films to show people some of the simple things. There's a lot of chaos going on in the year 2020. So in the year 2021, I want to be able to show people things that are lovely, virtuous, praiseworthy, yeah. and things that are of good report. Kind of like what Paul says in the New Testament, right? Exactly, so yeah. We can turn on the news and we can watch a lot of garbage and a lot of junk and get caught up in the drama, but uh, I think that's why I agreed to do it is because um, I think there needs to be that other voice to balance things out. To, to realize, you know, you turn on the news, especially this last week, and it's like, wow, the world's coming to an end. And, but, you know, out here the sun still came up. Yes, it did. The wind still blew. It did. Um, things are still growing. Photosynthesis is working. I mean, when the sun quits shining, then we know we've got some real problems. But That's until right. then, natural systems work. And, and so I hope that we can share that with people that, hey, really, you know, life goes on. You may not be able to come and live on a ranch or work on a ranch or buy a ranch, but maybe you can experience a little bit of what we do every day. And so That's right. So I think we kind of agreed this is, you know, largely unscripted, right? No script. I mean, we're just kind of, this is real raw, largely unedited, unless it just gets monotonous or That's in right. case maybe one of us cusses or something, we'll, we'll try to keep it clean, right? <laughs> Virtuous. <laughs> you know, the judge kind of, I've been here for a half a year, never heard him cuss. Okay. Well, that's so that's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a great idea and we hope that, um, that people can tune in and watch and share it. I think we both have strong opinions and we have, um, uh, messages that we want to share, maybe agendas that we want to promote, but that's not really the purpose of this, right? It's, no. We might do that in other platforms and other speaking engagements and right. other ways, but uh, but not not to say that that's not going to come through. I mean, we're Christians. Yep. We believe in God. That's right. We worship Jesus Christ. That's right. We're not going to hide that to try to be politically correct or otherwise. I mean, that's just we want to be authentic. We believe in promoting freedom, and we think that probably the best way we can do that is to grow good food, right? That's right. You made a comment the other day that stuck with me. When I was questioning and just kind of feeling the pressure of like, man, we got to do something. This world's coming to an end, you know, especially our country, America, that we believe in and was founded on true and correct principles. And Do you remember that, kind of what you said, that you're already doing it? Well, yeah, I do feel like I'm doing it. It's just, it's simple. You get up in the morning, and you go to work, 
and you just focus on what you were born to do. And I was born to be a farmer. I was born to produce food, so that's what I do. It's how I make the world a better place. Uh, I brought your family a salad the other day. Yeah, in, your in January. Yeah, fresh salad. <laughs> right. It was like, what, the second or third? I don't yeah. remember which day. But I had brought you a big bowl of salad. It was beautiful. I picked it right here. I took it out the door. I just took it right to you. It was a great experience to see all the smiles on your faces. Uh, and when we can do whatever we were born to do, to be able to help somebody to have a better day, then we don't have to worry about all the problems. The problems are there, and if there's something we can do to help those problems become better, then we better be doing that. So you see, by, by promoting what we're doing here, that's what you're doing. I mean, it's... Yeah. Like maybe your mission isn't necessarily to be an advocate or a Facebook or a YouTube guru, but um, but you can exemplify through these videos that hey, you're living your mission and maybe it'll inspire somebody else to do the same. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. I agree. I think that's yeah. good. And I, you know, you'd almost think, well, that kind of saying sounds Pollyanna-ish. Like we're just gonna be grateful and go grow food and go about our day and things are going to get better but uh, yeah I mean do you really believe that that's that is what we should do like is that the advice you'd give to no anybody not, no not the Pollyanna thing you've got to know why you were born you've got to figure that out and that's hard work it's probably the hardest thing you'll ever do Buddha said your purpose in life is to find your purpose and when you found it put your whole heart and soul into it yeah and it's, it's it's good advice it, from the Eastern cultures yeah, uh, but we're not supposed to just sit back and say, "Oh, everything will be okay." It's not. We've got to heal a pain. We've got to feed a hunger, uh -huh. and we got to bless a life. If you can put a smile on somebody's face, you're blessing somebody's life. And so all that is wrapped around a person's mission. Like for your, sure. your you say your mission is to grow things, and I mean that's yeah. apparent. Uh huh. Because you saw how we gardened this summer. <laughs> <laughs> we grow a great patch of weeds. Oh, I was inspired. And you, without even trying, grow a beautiful <laughs> garden. Well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I didn't see it that way. What I saw is you guys got your family out there and you were working together as a group. Uh -huh. And that was worth so much. Just imagine if every family in the world went out to a garden and worked as a group, even if they grew a patch of weeds, uh -huh. at least they were working and partnering with Mother Nature. Yeah. In, instead of doing all the other things that people do that make families fall apart. No doubt. So that's so, a good point. Another thing that, that you mentioned that stuck out to me was you see how busy we are. I mean, we're running a ranch and, you know, over a thousand head of cattle in the summertime. And so a garden is almost a distraction for us. Yeah, Because oh, I, sure. I don't know that gardening is my mission necessarily. I love it. I support it. I mean, I wanted to build this greenhouse. Uh -huh. and called you to consult about it uh -huh. and then you're here yeah. you know I knew it needed to be done but I knew that I wasn't the one to do it uh -huh. right if I'd have done it it wouldn't be done right now I didn't have right. the time the vision the fortitude and even the knowledge to to do it so it took you living your mission that frees me up so that I can do what I do best right right focus and on our genius exactly and and had you stopped ranching to build this You'd have this, and you wouldn't have a ranch. And we wouldn't have a ranch. We wouldn't have, yeah. Yeah. So everybody has their their commitments that they need to take care of. They have their missions. And when we know what we're supposed to do, and we put our whole heart and soul into it, then great things can happen. I mean, look at this. Yeah. It's a cold January day outside, and I'm getting hot in here. <laughs> I've got too many clothes on it for this, uh -huh. um, for this environment that we've created. Yeah. But the plants love it. Yeah. And now we have a, a different choice than, you know, random grocery stores. Sure. So. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. I think, I mean, I think that kind of conveys what, in a roundabout way, what we want to do. And so. Yeah. It was roundabout. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's good. I think it's perfect. And that's how I see these videos are going to be. It's not, we're not going to take time to do a video. We're going to video what we're doing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it does take effort, and that's largely on you, the editing and the uploading and the things that frustrate me. Uh -huh. Why I haven't done it is because I don't haven't paid the price to learn those skills, but uh, but I think it's I think it's an important thing. I think it's an absolutely critical thing that we have this uh, voice that 
oh, how do I want to say it? I mean, it's it's uh, just for normalcy. Is that a word? Sure. In the world, that's the. I mean, this is what this is where it all started, right? The Garden of Eden. Yeah. It started yeah. with growing things, and it's people are always going to need to eat here uh -huh. on the earth, and so yeah. I think that's what's real, and we need to help remind people about that. That it's it's a lot more than the number of likes on the social media or who doesn't like you or who is rude to you, you know. Yeah, none of that really matters. Yeah. It really doesn't. We just you just get past that and you see how much good you can do in the world. Yeah. Just in this introductory video, maybe talk a little bit about um, well, two things, I guess. One about who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, just introduce ourselves. Somebody just tunes in randomly. Yeah. You know, who's this William guy? Who's this Jared guy? Yeah. So tell us about William. Okay. So I'm William Demille. I'm I've got gray hair, but I'm really not old. <laughs> Uh, I grew up in southern Utah. I've lived in Missouri, in Oregon, California, Colorado, and Nevada. And in all of those places I've been working on farms. I've been enjoying agriculture. I've built maybe between 30 and 50 greenhouses. Huh. And I can't keep track and I haven't looked it up to figure that out. Uh, but there was one place I was and we covered an acre and a half in greenhouses to raise vegetables. We ran that operation and it was awesome. But I love growing vegetables. It's just a passion of mine. In the wintertime I love to look at all the new seed catalogs. Nowadays it's online and you do all the searches to see what new varieties are out there and what new offerings companies have. And it's just neat to see the, the plant breeding that's going on in the world. I really love all that. I've also worked with livestock quite a bit. We had a micro dairy of 30 cows and so we were milking between about 15 and 20 at a time huh. and we would make cheese and we would bottle and uh, sell raw milk uh -huh. and so we had to work with the local authorities to make it so that we didn't go to jail dealing with raw milk uh -huh. but that can be done and uh, so we were feeding the the health food market where we were and we had Jersey cows we would fill up that milk tank and milk for uh, three days and then we would bottle all that milk, wash everything up, and then would fill it up again for another four days. And all that we would dump right into a big stainless steel cheese vat. And then my wife would come in and she would heat that up and she would make mozzarella cheese. Awesome. And after you make the mozzarella, you have the whey left over, but there's still a lot of solids. So she'd heat it up again and make ricotta. Uh-huh. And so those are the two cheeses we made, but her mozzarella was brilliant because she'd put it in a brine. Uh -huh. So it would turn into more of an aged cheese. So you wouldn't use it like you normally use mozzarella. Um, it was more of a specialty artisan cheese that you'd eat with just, you know, whatever recipes. But yeah, it was really good. But she got super good at that. And so over the years, I've been on all these different farms. And I came here to Nevada. We decided to just have me come move in on the ranch <laughs> for a period of time. It's a good decision. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Right out, since Selena is out here with me, which she's not always, but uh, we would just go ahead and do the introduction for these little videos like we talked about. So the other day we were in the greenhouse and um, that's an integral part of our operation here in Clover Valley. But, but the main component is what we just saw over there. It's the livestock. Uh, that's, that's our real passion. That's our livelihood. Represents the bulk of our income. Um, so my name is Jared Sorensen. This is I'm Selena. And uh, his been, wife, also yeah. so Sorensen. Yep, we've been married for 25 years. We've got how many kids? Nine and a daughter-in-law. So we're counting. Grand, okay. Grandkid on the way. Yeah, and one on the way. We're not sure how we feel about being grandparents, but we're not old enough. That's right. That's how we feel about it. <laughs> but it's all good. So. Um, we wanted to share a little bit about what we do through these this video series that we're going to do throughout this coming year and maybe ongoing. And um, so today was just an example. We went and roped a cow, and it's just something that had to be done on the ranch. Um, it's not staged. We just uh, just had a cameraman who was willing to follow us around, and I guess we could talk a little bit about what our operation is, maybe 
maybe also a little bit about what our vision is. And so we, uh, we're third generation ranchers, raising the fourth generation, soon to be the fifth generation. Which they were off playing today, went to team roping, so we got to come do the fun stuff. Which yeah. Normally they do that. Yeah, but uh, we do, horses are a big part of what we do. Um, we enjoy that aspect of it. And we raise grass-fed beef, we raise kids. We're very passionate about soil health. Um, big word to us is regeneration. We want to improve every year. We hope that things are better than they were last year. We're just, we're in the middle of a drought, um, but I pointed out to Selena, one of the things that we're seeing is this clover, which actually we've got some little patches of it underneath us, and that's a, that's a good sign. It's a legume, it's, uh, it's a showing that things are cycling, functioning, working, we just try to be observant and see those things and um, do more of the good, try to avoid the mistakes. But uh, this, these, are, these videos are gonna be real and raw and largely unedited. And uh, you'll get to see things that happen in everyday life, just like this cow that was just tipped over in the ditch. Um, well. So, with, you know, along with regenerating the land, we, we're really passionate about the health of the animals as well as the people who will eat those animals and so it helps all around from the ground on up to the finished product which is eventually us and our health so we we care about it all and see it as a as a big picture um we're really passionate about um helping people um in all aspects of life as well not just their health but mentally and emotionally spiritually um, want people to be able to have the opportunity to experience what we get to every day. We feel really blessed to live where we live and do what we do. It's a lifestyle that we enjoy and um, we love for people to come and experience a little bit of what we do. Yeah, we realize not everybody can buy a ranch or go have the ranch experience, so maybe these videos is a way to uh, share that experience with others. We. Uh, yeah, we really feel like we see the connection and the maybe the disconnect between soil health and human health and how come human health is suffering right now. It's in large part because of the way we've degraded the soils throughout the world. So in a small in a small way, we're trying to regenerate soil and, and build health here and resiliency on our little piece of uh, of the planet. Um, hopefully there's things you can learn from from us, not only our successes, but also our mistakes and failures. And uh, you know, it's, it's the school of hard knocks. It's, it's what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying this small moment with us. It is our hope that it blessed your life. As the sun sets, the earth rests, and so do we. Tomorrow we start again to grow a future in our corner of the world.